Alex Ross. I'm in charge of the really the product development for Aquila. I've been involved in catamarans pretty much all my life and been really uh, excited about the development of power cats over the last number of years. Now, the Aquila 36 is a really cool boat, being an outboard powered catamaran, 36 foot with cabins and a wonderful layout. But really, the main focus that we had on this boat was a boat that would really run super well in all conditions. Should be building number 100 by the end of this year, so that in itself is a huge proof of a very successful boat. And we're, we're really happy with the way the boat runs. A killer hydroglide came about by looking for efficiency. I've personally been involved with foils of various different designs for a number of years. Foils are not new, they've been around many years, right from really the Second World War. Um, the question is, is how are foils applied to a boat? Today, we're seeing foils on the America's Cup boats, we're seeing various different forms of foil. The challenge with foils is really, what are you trying to do with it? And how easy is it to use? Our approach with the Aquila Hydroglide is a foil system that is really, you don't even know that you've got it on the boat, but you're getting massive advantage out of the foils on the boat. So number one, our focus was on foils. The boat runs super well already. So how do we get efficiency up? And a real great benefit has been increased performance as well, which has been, uh, you know, it's actually been even higher than we had ever hoped for. The foil is a fixed foil on the Aquila 36, so there's nothing to adjust. And this is really where we differ from many foiling concepts, is that you need to be a, almost like an airplane pilot to be able to utilize a lot of foil boats out there, particularly like America's Cup or these, you know, these very high performance boats. With a foil, basically, when you get going on the boat, there's no change at low speeds. And it's sort of like, you can really think about it as an airplane because what a foil does, it's actually, it's gonna provide lift. To get the lift going, you gotta get the boat moving, just like on an airplane. And the faster you go, the more lift you get. What you've gotta do with a foil is also designed for specific speeds that you decide where the foil is gonna be the most beneficial, same as an airplane wing. As you get going at about 15, 16 miles an hour, you will start getting the lift benefit because of the shape of the foil, basically. As the water flows over, it creates lift, which is driving the boat up the way. The faster you go, the more lift you get. And the cool thing is, is when you're getting to about 30, 35 miles an hour, the boat is sort of elevated by probably six inches out the water over the normal way. And, and one of the cool advantages is the wake of the boat almost goes down to zero, which is a great benefit really when the boat's running. The boat does get a little bit lighter up on the water. As far as the our particular foil is concerned, where we've focused the speed is around 35 to 40 miles an hour to really be super beneficial. But the boat will run close to 50 miles an hour. Our overall efficiency gains, it's Different speeds are between 30 and just over 40% efficiency improvement, which is massive. That's what we set out to do and we got it. To get four or 5% efficiency gains on a boat is not easy. But when you start talking about 35% efficiency gains on average, just think of that, what that does to your range on a tank of fuel. You can suddenly go a third more distance. That is massive changes in your planning, and of course in your costs as well, is that you're saving an, an enormous amount on this and uh, you're, in, you're opening up uh, new cruising waters for your boat. On a flat foil, you will get completely detached and the boat will come down. By having a dihedral foil facing down like this, as the boat comes up out of the waves, it will detach on the ends first and it'll slowly drop the boat back down. So you don't get a sort of a foiling and a complete release and the boat drops back down again. You get a, a very gradual up and down. As this will come out the water, it'll just reduce the plane, reduce the amount of lift, the boat will go down. So that's the fundamental advantage of it. Depth of the foils is a interesting subject when it comes to foiling boats. Yes, it is deeper than the hull, than the hulls of the boat, which is, as you can see here, it's only about that much deeper. However, the outboard motors, the bottom of the um, motors are about at that depth. So we're not as deep as your outboard um, drives are. What we have is our one main foil here, 
where we have two small little trim foils, one on each hull, facing inside as well. What that does is really stabilizes the boat. Because we have outboard motors on this boat, you can actually use the outboard motors to help your trim on the boat as well, a little bit if you want to trim it. One of the great things that we found with this foiling system is that the boat actually is not as sensitive to weight distribution as typically most foiling boats will be. And that's an important thing. If you've got somebody walking around, walking fore and aft, doesn't this boat just keeps running. <music>